Good morning. It's hard to believe that this is Passion Week, but yet it's another week celebrating the sufferings of our Lord. As we come to worship the Lord together, I invite you to look at Psalm 24. We will call one another to worship using this great psalm, Psalm 24. Hear the word of the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Please pray with me. Our God and our King, you are the Lord of glory. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Apart from you, there is no life. There is no light. And so, Lord, we come into your presence this morning. We come to worship you. We come to know you, to be known by you. We pray, Father, in this time that we have together that you would take your word, that you would seal it upon our hearts. Lord, we pray that you would encourage us, but above all, Lord, we pray that you would accept our worship and our praise, for we offer it to you in the worthy name of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, I would invite you with your families to follow along. Uh, there's a couple of links there for a hymn of adoration and take some time to sing praises to your God this morning. 